Worldwide, I've had to tell you guys, reach out and say, hey, John, what's up with the 55 and up crowd? Where are we supposed to hang on the Emerald Coast? I'm so glad you asked, because that's what we're gonna explore today. The three best places on the Emerald Coast for 55 and up. Here we go. Alrighty guys, we are here in my car. Please excuse the messiness of it. I got a four and a five year old and they cause disasters wherever they go. We are here at Margaritaville Latitude today. This is a 55 and up community. They're very private. They won't let me film anywhere uh, on premise. So, I mean, that's great for people looking for a little privacy. I totally get it. I'm about to head off on the shuttle here and go check out some amenities for you. But before I go, I'll go ahead and tell you about them. And what I'll do later is because I can't shoot video, I'll go ahead and take pictures and throw the pictures up uh, of these different amenities and they're chock full of amenities this place looks cool if you are 55 and up and looking for a fun way to hang out with others uh, your age man this is going to be a community like no other a fully outfitted gym a spin room they got aerobics room with virtual personal trainers indoor whirlpool and lap pool they have a restaurant on site here it's called latitude bar and chill restaurant it's a restaurant with an indoor and outdoor bar second floor overlook bar with panoramic views of the intercoastal waterway pool side alfresco dining and drinking multi-purpose rooms and private dining options it's a really cool place and it's private also latitude is connected to the intercoastal waterway and you can actually take kayaks out there and uh, check out the intercoastal waterway which is really cool they have a town square amphitheater band show with live music dancing and entertainment i was just in there now and they were playing jimmy buffett and jack johnson my kind of joint i love it planned working and playing center they're going to have the hangar workshop barcaritaville pet spa multi-purpose arts crafts cards and meeting rooms last mango theater banquet hall with stage and performances and dancing i don't think they built that yet but they are in the process of building that all of this stuff right now is getting built up as we speak currently 22 homes on the market here they also have this awesome pool it's called the paradise pool beach entry cabanas tiki huts the whole nine man you'll be living it up here at margaritaville folks these houses start off in the 300s and they go all the way up to the 500 so you can get a two bedroom two bath two car garage in the 300s that's for the conch cottages collection all the way to the island collection single family homes and uh, those are three bedrooms or two bedrooms three and a half baths two and a half baths and those start at the 500 thousands so before we head off this is a 55 and up community so only 55 and older can uh, live here we're about 15 minutes from the beach so it's out towards the airport over here uh, a little bit further away from the beach which probably is going to help you out quite a bit on your insurance uh, especially with these new builds they put a special kind of roof on and that allows you to not have to pay as much in insurance and don't quote me on that that i know that's how it worked with my house because we just got our house re-roofed and we saved a ton of money on insurance so guys uh talking about the beach talking about dining options so you're right here uh, about 15 minutes away from the beach if you go uh directly south if you take a left right there you'll wind up at pier park very close to pier park if you take a right you go over the bridge you'll be an inlet and 30a a lot of people have been calling me and asking me and talking to me about what is the culture like there are there things to do throughout the year yes uh man there is so much to do there's festivals all the time down there at pier park and if you're looking for some really cool interesting vibes uh you got 30a so 30a you can get to rosemary beach from here in about 25 minutes uh rosemary beach when you head there it's like going into another world guys so everything is very close to this place it's far enough to be out of the hustle and bustle of all your summertime craziness but it's close enough that if you want to, you could head down there and get right in the thick of it. What I like particularly about this location is it's the closest to the airport. I mean, the airport's right down the street, which is great if you have friends or family flying in to visit. Also, it's right by West pa Panama City Beach. This empties out into West Panama City Beach, which is a hidden gem in my opinion. That's where me and my family actually chose to move. And uh, it's just so peaceful and tranquil over there. Uh, there's not a lot of big high rise condos very cool place and you can still get in there at a very reasonable rate that's why we actually chose living here in panama city beach west panama city beach over sarasota florida which is what we were looking at before because we realized to get oceanfront 
in Sarasota, it was going to be about a million bucks. But if we did it here, we could get in under 500. Lots of stuff in West Panama City Beach you can find that is STR ready if you want to make it a short term rental. If you just want to come up and visit for a couple months, maybe be a snowbird and then rent it during the summertime, that's a great option. And you could actually make money uh, in some of these units because they are close to the beach. Uh, it is off the beaten path and some of these places are a little bit older. Only drawback to this is sometimes in West Panama City Beach, you will be living close to uh, trailers. There's trailers that they built uh, back when they started first uh, getting people down here. And uh, as soon as those trailers are gone, they're not allowed to put the trailers back on. Uh, that is the good news. So once, uh, you know, God forbid, if there's a storm that comes through and takes out those trailers, they can't rebuild those trailers. So. Uh, if you ask me, I think a really good place to invest right now is West Panama City Beach. Very close to 38, 38 is filling up. It has no choice but to grow that way. All right, guys, uh, looking around this area a little bit, uh, this is uh, this electric cart place is where all these stores are gonna be. Now, this is gonna be a huge development out here. Um, it's gonna go all the way down 79 now they only have one building built right now uh, that will change there is going to be a Publix right back here after the Publix they're going to be putting all sorts of stuff all the way down the line here the Publix will be right there where you see all the sand this is going to be called West Bay Center now West Bay Center is going to be very similar to what we see down in Sandesta with the huge shopping center there. I wanna show you exactly how far this will go. It's gonna go from 79. This is how big this shopping center is, guys. Okay, so it's gonna start right here. Publix is gonna be right to the right. And as we drive down the road, this is all going to be shopping centers. All this stuff to the right is going to be huge, filled to the brim with different shopping centers. This is how much it's growing out here right now. There's absolutely nothing out here but Latitude Margaritaville. But in the future years, that's the uh, entrance you take to get to the dining and stuff. And it'll end right about here. So that's how big that shopping center is going to be. Absolutely humongous. Going to be lots to do and a lot of developments going to follow Margaritaville Latitude steps after they're done. All right, guys, so we're talking West Side, Panama City Beach. These are the kind of houses you'll see back here in these neighborhoods. Uh, which is pretty cool. You can tell that these are fairly new builds. Basically, back in the day, uh, a bunch of this was just mobile homes, like that mobile home you see there. Uh, and what happened was uh, investors have come in here, bought those mobile home lots uh, that were pretty cheap, took off the mobile homes and are now putting new construction in here. Now, this is something we expect to see more of. Uh, there's an example of a mobile home. This is a golf cart friendly neighborhood. We love this break right here. This is right down the street from our house. Um, and as you can see, look, there's a flip right there. So they bought one of those units that was a mobile home and now they're putting a new piece of property up there. We expect to see a lot more of that down here as some of these uh, older residents on the west side of Panama City Beach uh, start selling off their property. And here we are at our favorite beach access. This is Beach Access 84. One of the reasons my family loves this one so much is because you have the extra parking. As you can see, there's a lot that's next to the beach that's fairly empty there. And then you have access. All of these beachfront units um, on Front Street here on the west side of Panama City Beach are STRs or short-term rentals. Great investment property. As you can see, there's no high-rise condos at all on this street. My brother is coming down and he's uh, actually renting one of these uh, houses on the left that will fit two families and they are paying $5,000 for the week. And that is for a, I believe, five bedroom. But you can see it's a lot more chill over here. You have the Laguna Beach Christian Retreats over here. You have some new construction popping up on the right. And yeah, this is the house. Uh, if you look right here to the left, this is the house that my brother is running for his family's trip here. Um, that $5,000 for the two weeks. Got the old beach bar over here. Nice little hole in the wall. And uh, a quick find over here on the west side P PCB2. If you like pho, this pho 77 place is absolutely phenomenal. Highly recommend. Unfortunately, we just got kind of some yuck weather today. I love shooting on sunny days, but unfortunately my shooting schedule is a little bit busy this week, so I'm not gonna be able to 
do it on a beautiful sunny day of these 55 plus communities. But if you like what we're doing, please bang and like that subscribe button, comment below if you, there's any particular neighborhoods you'd like to see we'd love to hear from you and don't forget if you're planning on moving to our area of the world we would love it if you called us 901-230-0865 that's my personal phone number people call us all the time i love talking real estate with folks hit me up on my email john at rubyredmedia.com all right here we are we are in our second spot today and this is the water sound origins it's a new active lifestyle community located in the panama city area of northwest florida this is uh 30a inlet beach is uh where we're at at very cool place. Upon completion, there will be around 1,100 well-appointed single-family homes with optional upgrades that include private outdoor pools and fire pits. Residents will have access to a fabulous set of resort-style amenities, including everything from a golf course to private beach access, which is huge in 30A. The community is located just minutes from daily conveniences like the area's scenic white sand beaches. Those looking for homes in the Florida Panhandle should take a close look at Water Sound Origin. Now, what makes this place so special is all the amenities that it has. All homeowners have access to the Village Commons, an amenity center in the heart of the community. There's a clubhouse with a fitness center and plenty of space for community functions and private events. Residents can also meet for coffee or a snack at Water Sound Cafe located inside the clubhouse. Outdoors, a zero entry resort style heated pool is ringed by an expansive patio with lots of covered seating. A six hole golf course designed by PGA player Davis Love III is available to all residents who wish to work on their game or enjoy a round of golf with friends. Water Sound Origins is golf cart friendly, making it easy to get around the neighborhood. There's also a children's play area. So this isn't 55 and up specifically. Uh, this is still family friendly, but it's very 55 and over friendly. Now homeowners here also have the option to buy a membership at the Water Sound Beach Club at a reduced rate where their state-of-the-art fitness center, day spa, and total of eight restaurants, bars, and cafes. Uh, this is a quite inexpensive if you don't live in Water Sound. It's gonna be $75,000 for a sign-up fee to be a membership of this and $1,000 a month. You do get quite a nice discount though if you live inside Water Sound. Now, upon completion of this, there's gonna be about 1,100 single-family homes at Water Sound Origins. Two local builders, Romare Homes and Huff Homes are responsible for the construction of this community. Very good builders in the area. Huff Homes will offer a total of nine four plans that range in size from 1750 to 2615 square feet with three or four bedrooms. Romare Homes are available in five four plans with 2,200 to 2,900 square feet of living space, three or four bedrooms, and three and a half to four bathrooms. All homes feature a first floor master suite and a wide variety of customizable upgrades. Residents here at Water Sound Origins love it here. They enjoy a carefree lifestyle with access to amenities that enhance their experience in the community. Homeowners can enjoy a round of golf or some tennis with friends and neighbors. A night out on the town is just a golf cart drive away with eight dining venues within the community. Reasonable monthly dues ensure that all common areas are well maintained. This is a great place and they're opening up a whole new shopping area at the front of Origins. Water Sound Origins is very conveniently located. It's tucked in behind 98, very close to 30A, the scenic 30A, near both Powell Lake and the Gulf of Mexico. There is a huge Publix as soon as you enter in here that's already built. Some of the eateries that are nearby that are notable that we love, uh, Shaka is great for sushi. You can also go to Amiga's 30A, one of the best happy hours in town. There's an acclaimed restaurant called George's at Alice Beach. Just tons of dining options here and you will not be disappointed. If you're an avid golfer, you're going to love it here. Not only do they have Camp Creek Golf Club uh, right around the corner, but also Shark's Tooth Golf Club are both just down the road. While those looking for nature, you can get out to Camp Helen State Park, one of my favorite parks, to take our girls. It's uh, available on an honor system. You slip three bucks uh, into the honor bucket on the way in, and you can enjoy that park. It's absolutely beautiful. Water Sound Origins is definitely a lifestyle-based community. You will love it here, man. Everybody here knows everybody else, and they treat everyone like family. All right, you'll notice here, this is the, uh, the golf club. You can walk in there. They have uh, all sort of common areas where you can play cards. They also have a fitness room in there. This is the six hole little executive course they have here. It is a public course, by the way, if you want to play, I believe it is a hundred bucks. Uh, so not bad. I think you get to go around twice, maybe three times uh, for a hundred bucks. I have yet to play out here, but I've heard very good things about it. As this is the closest golf course to us. Taking a cruise inside this neighborhood, you'll see how absolutely cute these little homes are. Oh my goodness, so cute. Look at that. 
Now, if you do move here, it is absolutely required that you get a bicycle because who wouldn't want a bicycle this cute little neighborhood. They have walking trails throughout it. And the 30A lifestyle, if you're gonna enjoy it, you have to have a bicycle. Got a father and son playing out there right now. All right, so we're coming out of the neighborhood here. And uh, as you can see, as you get out of the neighborhood, all the new constructions going over here to the left, they're putting all these shopping centers over there. And if you look to the right over here, uh, you're gonna have a public. So super convenient for that. And if you go straight here at this stop sign, uh, that's gonna take you into 30A. So that's how close you are to 30A. Absolutely beautiful here at night too. They have this all lit up and uh, just a really special community. All right, guys, one of the saddest parts of my day. I hate this going over this bridge. We're on Beach Highway, heading over the bridge, and this to me says I'm leaving the beach. <laughs> it makes me miserable. It makes me miserable because I'm so happy at the beach, but this is where a lot of folks are moving. We are heading over the beach from the 38 area into a place called Freeport. Now, Freeport was just a sleepy town 10 years ago. This place has absolutely exploded in recent years, and we're gonna check out a super cool neighborhood coming up here next. All right, here it is, the third stop on our tour day 55 plus, and we've seen some really cool stuff. This one, probably the most bang for the buck. You can find homes here in this area in the ranges of 300 to the low 500 thousands. This is called Firefly at Hammock Bay, and this place is very cool. Residents at Firefly at Hammock Bay have access to a rich lineup of private amenities. The community's clubhouse offers a multi-purpose room and fitness center. Outside residents can swim laps in the pool, lounge on the patio, play on the tennis court, or walk their pup at the dog park. There are also miles of walking and biking trails that surround the community. In addition to these exclusive amenities, within Firefly, homeowners also have access to all of the master plan amenities within Hammock Bay. A 6,000 square foot clubhouse is filled with social and recreational recreational spaces like a multi-purpose room, fitness center, movie theater, and library. The amenities of the greater Hammock Bay community continue with a resort-style pool, competition lap pool, outdoor patios, multiple sports courts for basketball and tennis, a putting green, playground, and barbecue pavilion. Residents can also enjoy the community's natural beauty by spending time at the park or taking a leisurely stroll along the paved trails. Now, D.R. Horton began construction out at Firefly at Hammock Bay back in 2019 and plans to build 100 eight single family homes total. Homeowners can choose from six distinct floor plans that range in square footage from 1,500 square foot to 2,000 square foot and have three to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an attached two-car garage. Features in some of the homes include single-story living, open house layouts, flex rooms, granite countertops, gourmet kitchen, and low-maintenance exteriors. Residents here can also enjoy a low-maintenance lifestyle thanks to a homeowners association that takes care of lawn care and maintenance of amenities in common areas. With more free time, homeowners at Firefly at Hammock Bay can enjoy spending time with family or pursuing new hobbies. Members of the community can also enjoy the variety of activities offered close to home, such as basketball, canoeing, disc golf, fishing, kayaking, movie nights. They have this wonderful, huge, big screen TV with plenty of places to put blankets. Firefly at Hammock Bay is located in Freeport. Now, Freeport is an up and coming place here. Uh, it used to be considered kind of out in the stick. This is where a lot of folks are moving because you do get more bang for your buck here. Residents at Firefly at Hammock Bay are close to Dixie, Publix, and Dollar General. Pharmacy needs can be met at Publix Pharmacy and Walmart Pharmacy. If you're looking at healthcare options, Firefly at Hammock Bay is also close to multiple healthcare providers, including Healthmark Regional Medical Center, Ascension Sacred Heart Hospital, Emerald Coast, and Walton Community Health Center. When homeowners here are looking for entertainment or dining options in the area, they can always travel along Main Street and Route 331, which are home to several restaurants, bars, and shops. There are also a variety of other attractions in the area, including the Heritage Center of Freeport, Baytown Wharf, Fishing Pier, and EOD Memorial, which gets me to thinking I probably should do a piece of content just on Freeport. If you'd like to see that, comment below Freeport and I'll make sure to get that out for you. Homeowners here that want to get outside will find plenty of options to explore. There are multiple green spaces, uh, parks to choose from, including Harry Laird Park, Freeport Memorial Park, and Mars Landing. Golf
golfers will also find multiple courses to play nearby, including Windswept Dunes Golf Club and Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club. Nearby metropolitan areas include Panama City Beach. We're about uh, an hour away from Panama City Beach. And when you cross the bridge and take a right, uh, you're just about 15, 20 minutes from Destin. So you're pretty much smack dab in between Destin and all those shopping centers over there and Panama City Beach, giving you the best of both worlds. Major props on the Props Craft Brewery. This place is so cool. Look, it's got an airplane uh, in it. And I love the theme here. It looks all old school and really fits the neighborhood well. I can't wait to uh, see more of this. I wish the day was pretty so I could bring my camera out, but I'm afraid I'm going to bust it if I get it out in the rain. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, we really would appreciate it if you give us a like and subscribe. Also, if you're looking to move to our area of the world, the beautiful Emerald Coast, you can call me anytime. 901-230-0865. We get calls all the time, every day, and we would love to hear from you. If you're planning on moving to the area, we have a relocation team that is willing and ready to help you now. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, check out this video. This is video is all about my story of moving to the Emerald Coast and some of the things that I wish I knew that nobody told me. Really cool stuff. Check it out. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.